अब हमारे सामने इन एक छोटा सा प्ले और मुकालमा पेश करने के लिए इब्तदाई दर्जे के कुछ तलबा तशरीफ़ लाएँगे नौमान मज़लूम यार फरहाद साजिद उमर शेख उमर पटेल ये लोग हमें बताने की कोशिश करेंगे कि हमारे मदरसों में क्या पढ़ाया जाता है Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Where are you guys coming from? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We just got back from Darul Uloom Jamia Islamia Abu Bakr Masjid. That place? What do you guys even do there? They don't even let us in the gym. Well, that's true, but there are other facilities and programs that the community can make use of. Like what? The library? <laughs> For example, we just came back from the Alim course right now. Alim course? Is that where you guys become a Molana? What does it mean to be a Molana Nagari and not just a normal brother? A Molana typically refers to someone who spent years of their life dedicated to pursuing Islamic knowledge. However, pursuing knowledge is not, uh, it's not exclusive to Molanas. Uh, Islam encourages one and all to learn. Uh, everyone should strive to learn the essentials related to their religion. This will not make you a Molana. This will simply make you learning uh, someone learning about their religion. Um, the Prophet وسلم, says, seeking knowledge is a duty upon every Muslim. So what do you guys really do in this course? Well, we start off with studying Arabic in the first three years. Arabic has different sciences like Nahwa and Sarf. What is that? Is that like what we have similar to in English? Well, uh, sort of. Nahwa would be uh, grammar, syntax, and uh, Sarf would be co verbal conjugations, morphology. For instance, if someone were to say to you, very shameless you are, you would be baffled. You would think, what a fool. He can't even make a sentence right. What he should have said is, you are very shameless or look at how shameless you are. That right there is a fine example of Nahwa. The individual words may be right, but the overall grammatical structure of the sentence is incorrect. And Sarf focuses on individual word patterns and forms they can be used in. For example, to eat is a root word. Eight is the past tense. Eating is the present tense. And will eat is the future tense. Let's say, for example, someone asks, why are you attituding? Of course, you'd probably laugh because you can't add ing to attitude. You have to say showing attitude. I didn't really get you, but go on anyways. Yeah, that's kind of the dry part of the course, to be honest. But alongside Arabic, we study Urdu. For example, dil bar bar ho gaya. Now, some may translate this as heart became garden, garden, but this is actually an idiomatic phrase. It just means he became very happy. And after Arabic and Urdu comes the good stuff. Under our teachers, we get to translate the Quran and Hadith as long as the sciences of Tafsir and Fiqh and a, long, a year long detailed study of the sixth book of Hadith, like uh, Bukhari and Muslim. We also study sciences like Balagha, which is just rhetoric, Usul al Fiqh. Mustalah and Aqaid. Wow, that's a lot. It's almost like a university course. Trust me, it's a lot more. Take uh, one science, for instance, Al Jarh wal Ta'adil, in which the biographies of the narrators of Hadith are mentioned. There are also multiple books spanning over 10 to 20 volumes, like Tahzeeb al Kamal and Nisan al Mizan. Wow, that's crazy. What do you guys even do after that? Like, what jobs can you get with a Molana degree? Well, the purpose of spending your studying is not really a job. 
Rather, our teachers create that mindset of giving back to the community, teaching them what you learn and serving your people. Islamically, we are taught to not just learn to our, for ourselves, but to also propagate the knowledge we learn. The Prophet wasallam has said, that the present from amongst you must inform those who are absent. And this was during the final Hajj sermon of the Prophet Now, you can do this as an Imam, as a Shaykh, as a teacher, or like any other role. When something Islamic comes up or family issues arise, you don't go to lawyers and doctors. You go to the Imam and the Shaykh. And they give back to you and help you and without asking for anything in return. Yeah, many times you see Musallis going after the Mulana on the way out from Salah. And even if the Mulana has to go somewhere or he has something important to do, he still waits patiently and replies. Why? This is because you are part of the community and he cares about you. Islam is unlike any other religion. Allah Ta'ala did not want it to be a monopoly amongst the elites. So he, so he made knowledge accessible to everyone. This is also the reason there is a great emphasis on spreading knowledge in Islam. Yeah, the consequences of hiding ilm in Islam are also very grave. As a Muslim, one of our primary obligations is to have a concern in our heart to ensure that this blessed knowledge reaches every corner of the world. Wow, I never really thought about all of that. Wow, I wish I had the desire to pursue Islamic knowledge like that. Is it really worth it though? Of course it is. On the Day of Judgment, when everyone will be worried about themselves, those who sought knowledge for the sake of Allah will be amongst the pious and the blessed servants of Allah. SubhanAllah. If I knew about this when I was younger, I would have definitely joined. Everybody has to start somewhere. Come on, let's go chill at the masjid for a bit. We'll talk some more there. You sure they won't kick us out? Nah, of course not. They ain't about that. Assalamu alaikum.